Um, so I'm curious in this room, how many people have heard of BioInteractive ever before this meeting? No, zero. That's great. Oh, a couple. Thank you. Um, so we are the education outreach group of uh, the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. Um, basically, what we are is an a la carte menu of science education materials. So this is just sort of a screen grab of our website. Um, we have over a thousand resources on here, ranging from documentary films to classroom apps. Um, uh, web apps, mobile apps, things like that. Um, and so we're uh, mostly life sciences, but then uh, I'm an earth scientist, so I've, I've started doing some earth science things, and that's kind of who we are and what we're what we're doing. Um, today, I'm going to do something a little different than what the uh, partner talks were. Um, I'm going to show you a resource that we developed. It's a, a new re resource that we've got on uh, iOS um, and now a rep web browser, and it's called Biome Viewer. And what I hope uh, to get out and probably discussions over dinner and drinks later um, is like how this could be better because uh, it's a pretty cool resource and I'm going to show you some features but it runs on a on a cesium uh, JavaScript library to show a 3D globe and it's a little bit cumbersome for low end computers um, which is what a lot of uh, schools have. Um, so the idea with Biome Viewer is to um, we have a 3D globe um, with the biomes. Uh, you can drop a pin anywhere you want. You get uh, data like what biome you're in. Um, I'm going to click on more to expand this. Um, we have climate data for the last 20 years, so monthly averages of precipitation and, um, and temperature for the last uh, 20 years. A um, little description of what it's like. And then we use IUCN data to map. Uh, we, so we have 16,000 species of reptiles, amphibians, and mammals mapped in here. Um, so that's kind of the main feature. Um, for this, uh, this classroom tool, you can learn about all the different biomes. Um, we have a couple other layers in here because biomes are largely, uh, oh, I'm going to come back to anthrums in a second, um, largely determined by temperature and climate. So here we have basically uh, the, the global temperature map. You can scroll back and forth um, to have a touch point to our earlier talk today. Um, we can go find the monsoon. The interesting story about uh, the monsoon was that uh, it blew our scale on, because uh, if I zoom in here, you can kind of see it's purple. Um, so this is the rainiest place on Earth. Um, and we had to change the scale, because otherwise everything else looked to be zero. So that's one month. But you can get to a meter of rain in one month. It's pretty amazing. Um, and so then what we also have here is um, anthromes. Um, these are maps. Oh, I'm done. Um, do I have 15 seconds? All right, so um, no one's clapping yet. Uh, but these anthromes of the different years. Thank you.